did the rumored BTB 2.0 mode for Halo Infinite just get teased by Microsoft? This recent Twitter video seems to suggest just that. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So as we inch closer and closer to E3 this Sunday, guys, for Halo Infinite's pre Xbox presentation, I have a feeling we'll get a little more trickle of information and news when it comes to this Xbox E3 2021 showcase. And with us being a Halo-based channel, you know we're gonna be covering all that news and information as soon as it goes live. So if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe let's get right into the content here so here is the twitter video i'm talking about xbox just posted this up and it does look very fast and you don't really notice it at first you probably just think okay it's just some promotional material as we normally get to try to tell everybody hey come check out our awesome presentation but this is actually strictly halo focused compared to the previous one which had a little bit of starfield now they replaced the starfield location with Halo Infinite. And here is a still image of that video. And as you can see in the lower left, it's no longer Starfield. It's straight up some more Halo awesomeness. And I said at the top of this video, this does look like to be a slight tease or reveal of the new BTB 2.0 mode that has been rumored multiple times coming for Halo Infinite as this E3 presentation is looking to be a very multiplayer focused showcase for the game. And so let's take a quick dive into this image. Now it's only an image, there's nothing in motion right here as we saw in the previous video so this is everything we're going to get a chance to see in this obviously you see a warhog with the guy in the gunner seat and it looks like a passenger with a rocket launcher as well now when i first saw this i thought there were going to be like flaming tires on this thing because at a long distance you're like holy crap are those tires on fire that looks completely awesome as we do know we are going to get enhanced vehicle destruction within halo infinite as we saw it within the gameplay trailer of 2020 that the front left tire is actually a pop which is a new mechanic and it was also teased within the sand box reveal of the Inside Infinite blog talking about how there's going to be more ways to interact with vehicles and a little bit more dynamic ways to kind of showcase damage and things like that but this looks like to be just a reflection of like looks to be like a rocket launcher flying right underneath this amazing warhog that's in air. Now you're probably saying to yourself Kevin this doesn't say BTB 2.0 or anything like that. I'm like yeah you're probably right but most of the times when you think of vehicular combat and squad based mechanics within a halo with vehicles what's the mode that you think of big team battle and also this might just be like for art's sake right here but look at the entire map itself again we're seeing these mountains pop up in the back much like we have up here as well in the image and so this might be kind of a tease of what kind of setting we should be seeing when it comes to halo infinite i mean they did mention about a lot about the pacific northwest environments making their way into the game so a lot of forested areas mountainous ranges and things like that as well so very much in line with the original combat evolved environmental styles but the reason why i feel like this is btb because look at the environment that this warhog is in it's a very wide environment honestly when you think about it now this might not be an actual map that's in the game but the idea of this image is to give you a preview of what to expect from this presentation and you would have something similar to the size would probably be like a BTB styled map and a developer made BTB map which we haven't had since Halo 4 in 2012. Now why do I talk about BTB 2.0 so much? It's because it's been leaked by multiple insiders talking about how there's going to be a larger more expanded version of BTB and how Battle Royale sounds like it won't be coming to Halo Infinite at least at launch. This was first mentioned by Clobrol a few months ago where he said, I know there won't be a battle royale mode. To my limited knowledge, instead the team is creating a big team battle 2.0 mode, which is a better fit for Halo, including massively enhanced vehicular combat, which we've seen, squad spawning, incoming pelican drops and many more surprises. Colt Eastwood actually also dropped some information as well talking about a release date as well but also talking about BTB 2.0 we've also heard other insiders like Jeff Grubb talking about another BTB 2.0 mode as well so I wouldn't take them exactly at their word about this is exactly what's happening but you're noticing a trend of a large scale mode that should be competitive somewhat with Battlefield in a way as well. 
which is very exciting for Halo. So we're getting closer and closer to Halo Infinite's big reveal, most likely a big multiplayer reveal as well for E3 this Sunday, which we will be doing a live stream watch party on my channel. The link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below. I hope to catch you guys all there so we can experience this all together as one big happy community. We also do stream Halo every Tuesday and Thursday evening as well. So if you ever want to just hop in and get a chance to ask me some questions or play some games together, that's the best time to do it. So this E3 looks to be very exciting exciting again we might not see a whole lot of halo it might be around 10 15 minutes or so or something like that which is the current rumor for the presentation length for this 90 minute showcase from everything xbox related but you can see halo is up front and center it's gonna get its time to shine we most likely will have a corresponding blog update with this reveal as well which we'll definitely cover on this channel as well so make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything going on with halo so if you like halo content or been on the loop for halo for the last few days or so or have been new to the channel check out the videos on the screen right here i got a link to all my news and informational videos right there so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next one peace out